Hi guys, welcome back to my tube. <laughs> I'm going to do a talk through tutorial on this look. I don't know how to jump into this. Here's some purple, some gold, some orange, some... You know what? I'm just going to shut up. And I'm going to let you be. You name this. We'll call this the unknown tutorial. Is that the unknown soldier? Whatever. Okay, I'm gonna stop rambling. Starting off with L'Oreal Hydro Genius, just um, moisturizing my face. Then I'm gonna go in with the um, Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer to prime the eyes. And then just grabbing a beauty blender and blending that in. Uh, Real Technique sponge, I mean. MAC Pro Emphasize, I'm going to be setting the eyes. Then taking the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette with Silk Creme in my Morphe 23 and just starting a transition color. All over the lid, all over the crease, all over eye space. Then I'm going to take Pukey, I believe that is, whatever I just pointed to, and I'm going to focus that in the crease a little bit lower. Uh, that same Morphe brush. And I'm just going to be blending this in crease and focusing on that outer edge, blending it together. Then I'm going to go in with Hunts with the Morphe, I don't know, is that the MB other one, 13? Focus this all along the crease, keeping it below, um, actually right into the crease, I would say more. Not going above, though. Then I'm just taking that first um, MB23 and blending those two colors together. Feel free to be messy, we'll be cleaning it up. Then I am taking, um, it's like an e.l.f., it looks like a lipstick brush, and Jax. I'm going to be focusing this right in the crease. Going all along there, this is a deeper color. I wasn't quite sure what I was doing at first, but we get through it. So. Really just making a defined line in the crease with that color. And again, you see, I didn't know what I was doing. I brought that color out there, and this later ends up not working out, and I cover it, which you'll see, but I don't... Sometimes your makeup dreams do not come true. But we can fix them. Then I'm taking a Morphe, I think that's like a pencil brush, and I'm just going to be blending that color out. As you can see, that dark color blended out very nice into those other transition colors we had. I did have trouble blending it out there, which you will see and why we get rid of it. Still blending. I was just trying to really get a darker color into that crease and that crease only. Then I'm taking my ELF flat definer brush and some Tarte Shape Tape and I'm going to be essentially cutting a crease. This is the first time I ever tried to do it and it didn't work exactly as planned but the look still came out nice. So on the L flat like definer brush, I don't know what you call it, I'm going to pack down the concealer and then shape it along the eyelid. Right up into that crease where you put that dark color but not all the way. Essentially that's why I wanted that dark color in the crease and then I wanted to conceal the lid so we can go in with another color. And I was trying to clean up that wing or whatever I was trying to do. Still not working. But we come together. This is when I'm deciding that, you know, it just didn't work. Which is great. You know, that's why we have concealer and why we do our eyes first. So I'm just erasing what I tried. And then you can see I got it like messed up and got on that upper lash line a little bit. And again, just go in and fix it, which we'll do. It's a trial and error, and it's just makeup. Cleaning it up with that pencil brush, just going back in to make that dark line stand out against the concealer, and then going back in with concealer. <laughs> so I keep calling it a lipstick brush, I guess. Just really making sure that dark line, that jacks, is nice and dark in the crease. I'm blending it out again.
you'll start seeing it's getting nice and smoky up there. And then I am going in with Crown Apple, spraying that flat definer brush with some Fix Plus, and I'll be patting down that Crown Apple shade all over the lid where I put the concealer. I've gone a couple of times with Fix Plus because I really wanted this color to uh, stand out and be very metallic since it was our all over lid color. It was a beautiful like uh, metallic cranberry. And bring that all the way up to that darker shade we have in the crease. This takes some work as you're getting up in that crease. Just uh, be patient. You see I like work my way up to that line in the crease. I was getting frustrated during this look because it's the first time I've done a cut crease. But again, you live, you learn, you pat, you swipe, you blend, and it works. And if we didn't look like we've gotten punched in the face every other time, we do now. Any crazy makeup look... Um, eyeshadow especially looks really harsh when you don't have the rest of your makeup on or the rest of your face I always say just push through finish the eye look and put the rest of your makeup on and it can make a huge huge difference I've hated looks then put the rest of my makeup on and I've ended up liking them it's hard when you got a Nikki face on though and then I'm going in with smoky but natural or yes, make them natural with that same brush that I cleaned off and I'm just popping that in the center. Um, I wanted the center of the lid a little bit lighter, uh, something to spark it. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's too noticeable on here, but definitely in person, this made a lot of difference. You could go in with a gold in the middle of this and that would look really nice too. And then I'm taking a Wet n Wild Makeup Wipe. And this is where I'm going to clean up Fallout as well as really start doing that cut V crease that I want. And then I'm going to go in with Soda Pop. Pop, pop. And I'm just popping that <laughs> onto my lash line. I think first I wanted to do a wing, then I'm not very good and it wasn't working, so I just decided to go into the lash line with Soda Pop. And then I decided to switch up the brush because I didn't like that one, and I'm using the Elf Definer brush again. Look, we've used that for about four shadows now, so living life with one brush. Then I am go- oh. Oh, what are we doing? And then I'm going in with Soda Pop again into the lower lash line. And popping that in. So I'm just popping in that Soda Pop with that MAC 242 brush right up against my water line. And dance party! Big button, I cannot lie. No, in fact, I know that. So then I'm going to go in with, I think that's Royalty, right? Just that uh, purple shade, and I wanted to put that along the lash line as well to see if that brightened up the inner corner too much. Or a little bit. I don't know. Then I'm taking the e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush, and I think that might be in light. And I'm just going to go along the, uh, my eyebrows. The eyebrows. <laughs> and then I'm using Shimma Shimma, which I wanted to go in in the inner corners because I love Makeup Geep Shimma Shimma. Now I'm doing blush. I went in with that e.l.f. It's like the light palette. I always mix the orange and that pinky shade together with my Morphe E4. Then I'm going to use NARS Laguna. Or Hot Sands, I mean. I was using that as the highlight. Oops. With my Eco Tools brush. And then blending it back in with my blush brush. Now I'm using the Wet n Wild Bear to Comment Lip Liner. Surprise, surprise. That is not the Wet n Wild Bear to Comment. I think it's called Gone Burgundy, actually. That is the Wet n Wild Lip Liner in Gone Burgundy. I think I talk about these lip liners in every video. I love them. And this is no exception. 
And I'm taking the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip and Sooky. I don't usually like glossy lips, but I really liked it. Um, that it, I thought it matched this color, eye color, really well. Then I'm going in with my All Nighter Setting Spray, sprucing it up, all the swatches. And then that is the finished Smoky Cranberry Eye. Thanks, guys. Hope you liked it. Bye. Oh. Don't mess it up.